Welcome to round four of 64 bourbons under $100. Wow, yeah, here we are. It's down to four round, well, four not matchups. Round, four matchups. It's the elite eight. Yeah, it's yeah. the elite eight. Four matchups. We don't know the price categories. Mm. We just matched them up and then moved them around, so we don't know what price category this is, but we do know this simply as bourbon A. I mean, at this point, Chad, everything's gonna be really good. Yeah, <laughs> like, we've exactly. made it this far, we've weeded out a bunch. The honey and sweetness and vanilla and oak. Mmm, smells great. Everything good. That same stuff mm. on the nose is on the palate. Yeah, toasty hint of vanilla, cherry, mm -hmm. oak, a lot of oak, nice but little, in a good way, oak. Nice little cinnamon spice there as well. Yeah, I like it. All right. Mm. B. Urban B. More caramely, more a little bit more earthy. traditional. The first one was giving me a lot of like vanillas, French vanilla, mocha, cherry, oak. This one is more caramely classic. Earthy graham cracker. Oh no. Ooh. Oh no. This one has a little bit more uh, spice on it. Ooh. A little bit more of a hug. Whereas A, I felt like the nose and the palate really matched. This palate, is more than what the nose is bringing it. You know, it's um. Mm. And I feel like it's not as rich as A was. Maybe. Well, especially up towards the finish. Definitely got to do more <laughs> back and forth A-B testing here. I mean, the mouthfeel mm. on A. Yeah, A is very rich. It is nice and rich. Proof-wise, mm. I feel like they're, mm. you know, they're close. Uh, I'm going to give it to A. I also am gonna give it to A. Okay. What's A? Advancing is. Old Forester 100 proof mm. beat out OGD Bonded. I love OGD Bonded. Wow. But wow. I, this is a really good head-to-head -head if you have these two at home. So I want to know what you think. So we randomly started in that uh, $25 and under category, and it didn't jump off the page and say, hey, I'm $25 this is a $25 under. and under category. I, I would have thought if you would ask me, we're in the 25 to 50 Ooh. at least. Uh, so that speaks well for it. Very highly of these two pours. Okay. Which means that blind ranked out of however many were in that category, whatever, 16. 64, 16, Old Forcer 100 was the best thing in this bracket under $25. That's a result right there. Did not have that in my um It's not prediction. what I predicted, but not I, in my bracket. it has really changed my mind wow. about, like not that I was one way or another against yeah. Old Forcer 100. It just isn't the number one thing that pops to my mind in nope. best under 25, and now it will be. All right, well, let's uh, set them up again. Knock them down. Do another one. All right, we got them poured up. Mm -hmm. Again, we don't know the price category. We know this as A. Yep. Let's dig in. Let's find the next final four contender. Ooh, that's that has some presence of age on the nose. Hmm. I think for me, this is like fruity, giving a little bit of like antique shop furniture. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think that I've said that on whatever this is before. I, I don't know. We've done so many of these at this point. I don't know yeah. what I said before. Well, you get different notes, different days. It's all depends on your yeah. physiology, right? This is smelling like Time I walked day, into and, an know. antique shop and they have a lot of really nice Leather like, vintage books. wood furniture <laughs> and, and old books. Yeah. It's nice. And that's kind of how it tastes. Yeah. It's got a lot of wood influence, but mm -hmm. it, I wouldn't call it over oaked. It's more of that cedar oak than like your your burnt uh, charred, yeah. charred wood. This bourbon tastes sophisticated. It's been around for a while. It's read many books. It, it has <laughs> it's, wisdom. It's learned. Yeah, a little bit of uh, honey and, and oak, definitely. There's some uh, fruitiness in there. There's a delicate- a Little brightness. Floral fruit, yeah. yeah. But, but it's really faint. How do you reply, B? You reply with a lot darker oak. Yeah. Uh, and darker berries. And brown sugar. Yes. Hmm. Very toasty, bakey. 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> very berry, very oh. oak. Yeah. Very My, vanilla. A little drier. It's a little drier. I might think this was a double oak product. It's but. a little double oaky, right? Well, I think <laughs> that like extra tannic dryness, like again, that mm -hmm. over steep bag of tea yeah. towards the finish of this one makes me feel like it's had more oak influence than normal. No, I agree with you on this one. Oh, these are uh, both really nice. Yeah. Dark chocolate, a hint of like coffee or espresso, berries, like jammy. Sugary syrup. Sugary, yeah, like a jammy, uh -huh. syrupy. Yeah. Back to A-B testing to figure out the winner on this one. I don't think there's going to be any little, real clear cut winners right. in this no round. No home runs on Not this. Not anymore. Mm -mm. It's really a dead heat tie 
if we're just talking about the palette. Mm. But once you figure in the finish, B is becoming just a little dry for me, only in a nitpicky way. Like normally if I'm drinking this, I'm fine, but we are comparing two and only one can win. So I gotta ding it a little bit. A, I think it might have it a little bit more overall, overall. in the well-roundedness. Well I think I'm with you, Chad. Yeah. So we're going with A. We're going with A. A is Four Roses Small Batch Select. <laughs> against Peerless Double Oak. That's. It was a Double Oak. Boom, Double Oak. Boom. Boom, Double Oak. Uh, I love Peerless Double Oak. Mm. I think everyone yeah. should try it. Um, but it, it does have a very specific flavor. So Sarah, that means we have finished another bracket. Right, wild cards and 75, and 75 to, 100. to 100. So that was this one. Mm -hmm. um, the Peerless Double Oak was a, an actual 75 to $100. Four Rows of Small Batch Select, however, was a wild, a wild card. card. Not costing 75 to 100, it's definitely under $75, but not too far off. Mm. That means a wild card won the 75 to $100 bracket. And it's moving on to the final four. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's do another one. Do it again. All right, halfway through round four. And this is A. This is A. Fruity. Very fruity. Fruity, almost tropical. I was just about to say that. Get out of town. It's got like a- Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Elaine Seinfeld. Mango, Which I, tropical. Again, don't think that I've said on whatever this pour is. Probably haven't said it before, but I don't know who's keeping the notes. Who's I keeping the minutes? I feel like it's going to be a little spicy, but I don't know <laughs> what type of spice. This is rare breed. I don't know which one it is, but can you imagine how much they're laughing Tropical at this right Island, now? give me a oh, rare breed, give man. Me a rare breed. <laughs> give me a rare breed. Wow, because that is rich. It's compelling. I'm compelled by it. Um, also, I think the theme of a little bit of honey, but this one has more lemon in there. It's got more of a citrus pop than I think those we've been getting. Those are just things that I would never, I just feel like I've never said those things about Rare Breed. Well, get Rare Breed out of your head. Let's no, not do that. I know, I know, but I'm just, it was a joke yeah. before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, this one has a great mouthfeel. Let's get that right. Exceptional mouthfeel. It's coating. I like that brightness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it does have proof, perception of proof. Right. But very enjoyable. Very drinkable. Perception of proof. I'll say that. And B. Completely different nose. Maple syrup. It smells like pancakes. Maple syrup. Well, it's earthier than A. I'll give it that. It is earthier. It's darker. For me, it's a little more savory. It's almost and like pancakes. <laughs> uh, bacon cooking. It, it has a savory nose. I, I smell that too. I think it's very layered. I'm. I Cast like iron that. skillet. Oh yeah. Oh. Okay. Earthier, yes. Darker. Darker. A little bit of coffee. A little bit of mm -hmm. chocolate. Yeah. Um, yeah. Not vanilla, too much coffee. Syrup. Yeah. Just a sprinkle. A sprinkle. Um, but definitely, yeah. Chocolate. Uh, and also still outdoorsy. A little bit floral. It also has yes, brightness to it. It's, it's got, got like, that barrel in there. Mm -hmm. We're going all the way around the wheel with this one. <laughs> it, it hangs out more on the darker side. But yeah. It's it's the whole. You get the whole ride the on spectrum. this one. The spectrum. The whole ride. The Roy the whole, G. Biv. Takes you through the whole park, right? I mean, this one definitely has some barrel on it. It does. I keep wanting to go back for more, and I, yeah. I think that that's a sign. Yeah, very enjoyable. Let me taste A again. Yeah, get some water. Okay, now going back to A, it has more nuttiness on the nose, I think. It does. Almost like honey bunches of oats with almonds, or it's not quite peanutty. Oh, yeah. Where was that before? I don't it know. It really took B to bring the nuttiness out on A. And it's true. Both are good. I have an answer. Dang, this is hard. This one is <laughs> such a dead heat. I love things about both of these. This is Sophie's choice. You're, he's just drinking Personified. Now. All right, I think I'm gonna lean B. I also am leaning B. So advancing is B. And the winner of whatever category this is, is <gasps> early times bottled in bond. I'm glad. And it beat out 1792 foolproof? I don't care, I'm glad, wow. I don't care. To me, that means something that is readily wow. available, comes in a larger size. But it, it can, also sad. Also sad. Also sad, Sarah. Because? because as we all know, Sazerac has bought it. What is out there in bottles currently, as of the recording, July 5th, 2023, yes. is still made at Brown Foreman. Uh -huh. It's still DSP 354. Uh -huh. But Sazerac bought the label. So we don't know what it will be. It will be made with their mash bill, but eventually it'll be Sazerac made juice. What we are currently tasting will eventually 
no longer no. be a thing. Oh, that's sad. A 100 proofer like beating out a 125 proofer Wild. could not taste that much of a difference between these. I'm so happy to see it. Now, people, I love 1792 full proof. People but. have asked this in the comments, so let's go ahead and put it on celluloid because we shoot oh, on film. Do it. It's the the black top, which means this is before Brown Foreman gave Sazerac totes of their stuff. Okay. A tote is just a big plastic thing. Uh, so people say there is a difference in taste between but when the they were uh, blending it and when they just gave Sazerac the rest of their stocks and said, you all do it. And that doesn't the, really and, make sense. Well, and the rumor is that Sazerac's like, ah, since it's your all stuff, we're just gonna take it as is and bottle it and not really think about So then why would it taste different? Blend. Because there was someone saying, all right, let's add more from this tote that tastes a little, or then it wouldn't be toast. Let's add more from this to get it to da da da. And Sazerac is just like, dump that tote and bottle it. Oh, I see. So see? there was maybe a little bit more of a blending aspect before then. And now it's just Sazerac like. Sazerac is just, let's get rid of the brown form and the stuff brown form and until stuff. we can make our mm -hmm. own. So mm -hmm. people have been asking that a lot. This is a, a black screw top bottle that we've been tasting from. So take that into consideration. Into consideration. And see what and it will become. That's all the info that we can give you. It, okay, well, so if and when that does happen, then in mentally in your mind, just advance 1792 foolproof instead. Before we do the last one, let's hit pause and tell you about our home on the internet. It's whiskeyambitions.com. So we're gonna get both of the t-shirts that we're wearing. Pop. Uh, <laughs> the hat, uh, hats, the glint currents we're drinking from, water glasses, copitas, rocks glasses, uh, a new batch of bottle cut candles is out there and more is always coming soon whiskeyambitions.com. And if you want to try our barrel fix, you can become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbon night for as little as one buck. You can join our community and we try to release one barrel pick a month on average. Uh, last year we did 15. This year we're on track to do 15 or more. more Very more. exciting. All right. We'll see you soon after these words. All right, it comes down to this. The last the matchup. last one to go into the uh, the final four uh, the trademark. Can't use that term. Can you? I don't know. <laughs> the, Is it the, the finals The of finals the of the four. The elites of the eight are going to the finals of the four. <laughs> and this is the last A. And this, this is final. A, yes. Heaven, I'm in heaven. Oh, jeez. Can you tell it's the last round? Get me out of here. A little looser. Uh, Chad's a little looser. The nose is silky. It's very... There's a little bit of cinnamon. Um, it's cinnamon sugar and actually, I haven't said honey mm. except for the very first one. I haven't thought all of them smelled like honey. <laughs> I don't think this one smells like honey. I do. Okay. This one has a, a little citrus pop that I'm liking. It's a little melon, lemon kind of cross. It's actually. very nice. Like a lot. Oh yeah, that lemon. I get your honey now. But the barrel is real. And a little bit of baking spice. Yeah, baking spice, brown sugar, graham cracker. Tiny hint of pepper on the yeah. finish. There's a Cracked little bit of pepper. black pepper. Mm -hmm. Pretty into it. I'm feeling this. I got no regrets right now. I'm feeling this. Oh. Anybody? Come on. Like you think you're the coolest person in the world because you do a reference that like most people know? <laughs> Not, well, it was a single, but it was also 20 years ago. Right. So not only are you showing your age, you're also like, hey, everybody, am I cool? Because I know this reference that everybody knows. It's part of our thing. Don't get on me in the comments. This is part of our thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this one. Um, I don't know. Don't put this one aside. This one. This one is not going quietly into that good night, it sir. It is not. This one will not be beaten that easily. A little different. I feel like this one smells a little fluffier, a little <gasps> fluffier, lighter. Okay. Um, but still strong. A little bit mintier in the minty side of things. You hear that mint, that slight mint? I do. Kind of smells like grab a nice pour while you're hiking or something. But like it's you you finished mm. a really great hike. This one I feel like a little earthier. Uh, great mouthfeel, let's get that right. Um, wow. It's got a lot of barrel on there. A lot of personality. This one makes me feel things. It's pretty rich. I had to take a step back. Yeah, it's pretty rich. This one's a little cast iron skillet. Uh, very homey, very home, right? Very. It's like very homestead. 
Homestead. Okay, yeah. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. it just is a feeling. I think it's time we start A-B testing these and see how they do back to, well, I mean, I would say they have been back to back, but you know, you go back to A after having B, see what's what. Do a little bit more analysis. That's still a really great nose. I do get more nutty on this one now. It has more sweetness and more nuttiness than I picked up the first time. Yeah, just like it the last round. It is a bit syrup, syrupier. This is a great matchup. It might be the best matchup in history. <laughs> like, in the this... history of this contest, oh. contest, it might be the best matchup that we've had so far. Wait, but let's go nose, palette, mouthfeel, finish. All right. Dead heat on nose. Dead heat. Palette, I'm going to inch it towards B. Inch. I think I'm gonna give mouthfeel to B. B, yeah. Yeah. Good. And finish. I love A. A is great. A is great. It's really, truly a tragedy that these both can't advance farther. I'm gonna give the finish to B. This is me being hypercritical. I still inch it in my decision to one of them. And, and that, that is? my decision is B. B, agreed. Okay. B is rare breed. Okay. Against not, <laughs> not Greek single, single, single barrel, barrel which, which makes sense as to why this yeah. was so difficult. Oh God. If Rare Breed wins this whole thing, people are gonna be like, what was the point of this whole series? Because we all to already knew it was- To do the due diligence, I guess, to do the work, to, to do put in the work. work. But honestly, in this price category, which was the 50, 50 to 75, 75, either of these is a great pickup. Take away from this episode what you will. There we gave we you eight, we narrowed down. I mean, you could technically make a blog off of this. Yes. Like the eight best readily available bourbons. I, well, I think from we should do that. Every price category. <laughs> yeah. Don't steal our idea. <laughs> this is our idea. Because that's the eight that made it this far, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, absolutely. Wow. Okay. There we go. So that means next episode we have the four finalists. The four finalists, which and, is two matchups. Yes. And then it will be the, the final finals. round. So three more matchups until we know what is definitively in our opinion, the, the best. best bourbon under $100. Thanks for sticking around with us this Woo! long. And if you haven't subscribed to us already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There are suggestions of other videos. They're down here. We hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay, until next time, drink more bourbon. <laughs> <laughs>